everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. I just got back from vacation, which was so much fun. I got to visit friends and family and constantly swimming, and it was such a great time. During my vacation, I also was vlogging a puzzle that I was doing, which was from the Wonder Puzzle Company. It's called Interview. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I don't have it with me because I did leave it behind so that my sister could do it. I was vlogging that video, and I was intending to do just like a puzzle vlog, having a couple puzzles done during our vacation and it just didn't happen. We were just too busy and I didn't get around to finishing the puzzle. But I still feel like the information about the puzzle brand is still relevant. So I'm going to at least put in the vlog footage that I had for that puzzle and then I'll come back and talk to you about the brand. Now just as a heads up, I did not finish the puzzle. It was just too busy. Uh, I got about 90% done, you'll see it throughout the vlog that I just couldn't finish the whole entire thing, but I did have a lot of fun with it and I still have some thoughts and feelings about the brand itself. So we're just gonna get into the vlog footage and then I'll come back and kind of wrap things up about what I think about the brand and my thoughts about the puzzle. Day one of doing the interview puzzle by Wander Puzzle Company. Look how pretty and bright and vibrant this is. I'm so excited. Let me just show you what the sides look like. Each side has the same info, so it has like the picture, the size, um, you know, basic puzzle stuff. And then on the back, you get a lot of really great information about the brand. This is about the illustrator who's from Turkey and a little bit about the puzzle and inspiration, which I think is really fun. And as you can see, hopefully, I do have it still with stickers. I don't know if that's from the secondhand shop or if it's still like a brand new puzzle, which would be great. So let's just open it up. It is a brand new puzzle. That is so awesome. I only paid $2 for this and normally they retail for I think like $28. So such a good find. It has a little poster so I can see the full image. And the puzzle is still in its bag. That is so cool. Here are the pieces. I have to say they aren't the best feeling. Like I feel like there's like a residue on there. Um, but they are very bright and vibrant. Let me show you a few pieces. Right. I brought you over to the window so hopefully you can see. They are extremely glossy, but very bright and saturated. Here's a piece all close and personal. Um, very, very shiny. Not the thickest of pieces, but I mean, it's sturdy enough. Just has a paper backing. They don't feel like the highest in quality. But I mean, it still seems fine. I just think for the price point, I've had better pieces. I just wish you could feel them because they just feel, the only way I can describe it is dirty. Like there's a little bit of a residue or like a tackiness to it. I just feel like my hands feel weird after. I don't know how else to describe it. But let me just take out the edge pieces and we're gonna get started. Sorry if this is a weird angle. I feel like that's how it's going to be for most of the video but I just finished sorting out the edges. I also sorted out, hopefully you can see it, it's just a plate full of plain black, like nothing in there indicating where it goes. I would say there's at least like 150 pieces in there as just plain black pieces. Uh, it's going to be her hair and like the polka dots. I also noticed that there are a couple pieces, I'll put in a closer, image so you guys can see, but there's a couple pieces that just aren't in the most ideal condition. Um, there's one that has like the graphic peeling up, we have one that has like a weird thing going on in the back, uh, a couple more wrinkly ones, so quality wise it's not the best puzzle, but I'm still excited to do it, I feel like the image is really pretty, and we're just going to get started with the border. And then I'm going to go through, I feel like the other pieces will be pretty easy to sort because they have a lot of different patterns. So there's like blue with black polka dots, there's blue with lines, there's um, a couple zigzaggy things, purple with darker purple lines. So it's pretty easy to distinguish where it goes besides the amount of black pieces that are here. So hoping to at least get the border done. Maybe later on today I'll get like one pattern done. Um, that's my plan, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So 
So it is about five o'clock and we're about to get a thunderstorm. I'll put a clip in of when I was just looking outside. Super windy, got really dark really quick and perfect puzzling weather. Anyway, it's gonna show you how far I am. I don't know if I'll do much more for tonight because we need to go grocery shopping and make dinner. Maybe I'll do some more later on, but I feel pretty good about how far I've gotten. Sorry for the glare, um, it just got dark so I had the light on, but I do have the border done. I have these blue sections done on either side. It just started raining. I don't know if you can tell I had the window closed. But um, I see the next part I'm thinking about doing, I'm just going to continue on with these patterns. So I'll, I'll go with probably the side next where it's doing these zigzags and the blue and red section. And like work our way inwards for these patterns and then I'll do the woman. Good morning. Last night we did way more on the puzzle than I was expecting. It was super rainy and dark and it was just like perfect puzzling weather. So I'll show you my progress. We've gotten so much done. Dave and helped for a little bit. And today we are going out to a campground that my sister runs. We're doing a bunch of like swimming and such. When we come back, I'm guessing we're gonna at least finish the sweater. The hair is just a whole other beast. So let me show you our progress. So here is our progress. We have the woman's face and all the colorful sections done. We just have her sweater and then that massive pile of black. So we have all of her sweater in this box. This is all of the black pieces and it's just gonna be a beast, but we'll get to it later today. So we've been back about 45 minutes. We have the sweater done. And then now all we have left is this. Just about 200 pieces of just black. I'm about to start the all black pieces. I organized them by shape. And if anyone is curious, there's 181 of them. So it is the final day that we're in this Airbnb and we did not finish the Wander Puzzle Company puzzle, uh, mostly because the rest of the pieces were just black. There's 181 of them. We got it down to about 100. And if we had more time here, we could finish it, but we gotta leave. So I'm gonna pack this up. Um, I'll show you what our final results are for this puzzle. I'm totally fine not being able to complete it. It was a good enough puzzle, it just was very glary. Like when the overhead lights were on it, it was very hard to decipher colors, it was just shine. Let me just show you our progress. So we got all of the woman done, except for her hair. <laughs> um, the This section here was really fun. I even didn't mind doing this section. And again, I would have been able to complete the black section. We just don't have the time to do it. So. I had about 100 pieces left, and I probably won't bring this home with me. I'll probably hand it off to like my sister, because I just found out she's a fan of puzzles, so instead of packing it up, I'm just going to hand it off. I will say, though, this puzzle pieces do stick well together. I feel like that's the way most puzzles are when they have like the paper backing, because um, I can pick up pretty much the whole thing, and it's completely fine. So very secure puzzle, and I mean, maybe I could transport it, but I just don't care enough to do so, so that's what's happening. As you could see, I got about 90% done with the puzzle. The last little bit was that big chunk of black hair that I just didn't have time to do. Now, the little bit about the puzzle, they are $27.95 per puzzle. Now, I got mine secondhand for around $2, which is such an incredible deal because I don't think I would actually pay that price point for that quality of a puzzle. Now the puzzles do fit really snug and securely because it does have that paper backing. I'm realizing I don't like that in a puzzle because it makes it really hard to take apart and I love to do a puzzle, take it apart and hand it off to someone else and I felt like when I was taking it apart, when I was going to transport it, it felt like all the pieces were just gonna like pull apart, like the graphic would pull apart from the puzzle piece. And I just don't like that in a puzzle. It makes it feel really cheap to me. So I wanna be able to do my puzzles more than once. Or even if I'm not doing it more than once, I wanna be able to pass it off so someone else could love it. I also had several pieces that were already pulling up from the puzzle piece. And the puzzle in general was just way too glossy for my liking. The puzzle is pretty much impossible to do at night if you had a, a light overhead because you couldn't, like it would completely distort the image. You couldn't see 
the colors correctly you had to stand up and do the puzzle if you did it at nighttime because it was just too glary and if I also did it in the daytime the light from the window also made it really difficult because it was just too much shine on the puzzle and it made it really really difficult to do in certain lighting and so I don't think I would ever repurchase a Wonder Puzzle Company puzzle but I will say it was a fun image I really love the graphic I just really wish the puzzle quality was there for the price point I also like the idea of the puzzle company because they really want to feature different artists from all over. Now I can justify a higher price point if the quality was there. Like I literally love the Treaser puzzle. That puzzle was absolutely stunning or Art and Fable. They have beautiful puzzles and those are also a higher price point but I feel like the quality is so much different. So those are my thoughts about Wander Puzzle Company. It was a fun puzzle to do while on vacation. I just didn't have the time to finish it up. I hope you still liked the content and the information about the brand. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm so excited because for the next two weeks I'm still off work and I have tons of puzzling time to do. So I'm excited to get a whole bunch of videos up and ready for you. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you for all those who have already subscribed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone!